What's up everybody, this is Saber and welcome to StarMade. Today we have a very special episode of StarMade Ship Reviews, which is going to be a Master Builder Review episode. So each of the guys, uh, some of my closest friends at StarMade, we have Dalmont, Raven, and Skylord Luke, have each been working on ships lately. And so the ship that they have just completed is one that I'm going to be doing a review on. So you may have seen some videos on these from their channels or uh, from various other places. But I wanted to actually go ahead and do a official review of each of them and go ahead and show you guys uh, what uh, what I think of them. Now, keep in mind that with this series, I've never seen these ships before, so I have no idea what I'm getting into. I haven't seen videos, I haven't seen uh, any comments, anything. Like I, I'm going in totally blind, so all my comments will be a first reaction. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so first up is going to be the EFSF Stargazer, and this is by Raven. And he's been telling me about this, uh, well, he's been telling me about this ship specifically, just been talking about it a lot. And so he's been wanting me to check this out for basically since he started it. And I can already see he's taken some ideas from uh, one of the ships I've worked on recently. But this is designed to be a space yacht from what I understand. So I don't believe it will have any weapon systems in it. But it's basically just designed to be something cool to cruise around in and, you know, have some fun. Uh, probably going to be focused mainly on interior but uh yeah let's definitely go ahead and check out the exterior of this thing and i'm definitely liking it it has a very nice sleek quick design to it uh while also having kind of shielding towards the back there where it's going to keep the crew and the majority of the systems more protected with that shielding so really like the details uh partly because you didn't go overboard with it which is very nice because it, it keeps a i don't want to say simpler aesthetic but uh, I guess more clean. I know I use that term a lot, but it gives it a, a more elegant, I suppose is what I'm looking for, aesthetic, uh, because it uses, you know, fewer details. So it still has them on the plates and stuff, but it's not overcrowded with them, essentially. So I think I'm seeing a biome in there too. This is definitely going to be pretty cool to check inside. Let's take a nice zoom in on this strut here. So it's got a pretty nice look inside of here. I like it because it's it seems very sturdy, but then also because it kind of thins out, it seems light as well, which kind of carries over to the entire ship, uh, basically all over, is because it seems very quick just in the way that it's shaped. So let's go ahead and zoom out here a little bit so you guys can see, and we'll fly around. But yeah, I, I do really like it. Uh, I don't actually see anything specifically that I would say that I would like to see improved because it's just uh, well this is this is master builder I like your smiley face do you guys see that <laughs> and now you guys can never unsee it <laughs> which means he'll probably change this as soon as he sees the video because that's gonna drive him nuts <laughs> I mean I'm not saying you have to change it I'm just I'm just saying that's what I see but yeah I do really like it. it's got a nice silhouette too because it's, it's, again, it's it's simplistic in its form in that it is a more elegant shape. It's not, you know, a bunch of, like, big blocky chunks sticking out everywhere. It's very sleek. So, yeah, I really like it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, just to get some more detail shots, zoom in a little bit closer to some of the stuff. Because I actually haven't taken a really close look at it. I've just kind of been getting a feel overall for it. But there's definitely going to be a lot of uh, smaller details in this thing too because I mean you know it's Raven that's what he does and I'll actually take you back okay so there's a door that's nice love how you hid that door I mean well it's not hidden it's hidden in plain sight essentially because with, just with the way that you designed it it uh, just blends in with the rest of the hole very nicely so right down here there should be yeah using those jump drives all right Love jump drives. One of my favorite blocks in the game. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about before. So I did something similar to this on the uh, the Spartan that I believe this is where he got the inspiration from. I could be wrong, but I think this is probably where it came from. But okay, let's go ahead and see if we can find our way inside. Now I know where one door is, obviously. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and go through these. Now, whether this is the main entrance or not, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm going to go in this way anyway. 
Okay, so here we are inside of the hangar bay, looks like, and he's got an adorable little shuttle with a nice antenna on it and some vents. This just goes to show that you guys can fit details into even tiny, tiny little vessels. So do keep that kind of stuff in mind. A lot of it just comes through in wedges and corners, corners, <laughs> wedges and corners, wedges, corners, and pennas and tetras is what I was trying to say. So uh, be mindful of that. But let's go ahead and head to the front of the ship first. Now, I don't see any gravity modules in here, which is kind of a problem. But uh, I'll go ahead and align to the ship. I think these... Oh, wait, no, wait, that is logic. I was going to say, I thought it was logic, but I didn't... Or at least I expected it to be. Why is it? Why are you not working? Okay, well, it's logic, but it didn't work right there. So anyway, uh, room one, room two. See, look, he labels his rooms. What a novel idea. Excellent. Where is the gravity? Okay, buttons. You guys know I got to push the buttons. I don't, I don't know. Oh, shutters, probably? Yeah, shutters. Very nice. That's a really interesting... What is that? I mean, it's a planet terrain, I imagine, but I have not seen... That is a great wall. Very nice. It's a nice little accent wall. Very cool. You got a fancy little bed here. What's this going to be? Gravity? No, lights. Okay. I need, I need me some gravity, man. Man. Oh, heh. Probably could have just, you know, read what the display module said. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, room two. Probably the same thing. Yes, only it's a different wall color. Good, because that would have been really lame if you just uh, symmetry that all up. The only problem I have is that it's, you can't really... Like, you'd have to jump to be able to see straight out. I guess from the bed it isn't bad. Especially if you hit the light. Oh, yeah. Alright, moving on up. Ooh, got some... Uh, it's called Lar Laramar? Laramir? Something like that? And that works really well with the white. Very nice. Oh, here's the bar. All right. Got some random tables for, you know, doing table things. And you got the bar. Got some capsule things kind of stacked around. Very nice. These are really nice wide hallways, too. Doesn't feel cramped at all. Ooh, captain's quarters. Excellent. No windows in the captain's quarters? Oh, missing wedges. You suck. Raven, you suck. You're supposed to be master builder. <laughs> Also, this is a huge bed with one pillow. Wah, wah, wah. Also, um, mm, another missing block. I don't know, man. You're gonna need to like immediately do an RC3 of this, which for anybody who doesn't know is release client, which him and I think Dal and Sky all do that system. Release client systems, I don't, but oh yes, yes, the new thing. Oh, looks so good. Kubu, if you're watching this, you rock, man. You make good stuff. Very nice. Okay, so we've already ascertained that this is a really crappy ship because there's missing blocks. So I guess we'll just check out the rest of it. It's whatever. <laughs> oh, I love giving them a hard time. We all do. Like, we, we give each other a difficult time. Especially when it comes to builds and logic doors. How dare you! Okay, go into the back of the ship now. And what? Wait, hang on. Okay, so there is there is gravity. Maybe? Is it, is it just this little thingy? Ah, it is just that little thingy. Okay. That's interesting. You might want a display module or even just a light change would work. Like if there was some green lights down here, that would help to note that. Because I had no idea that's actually where the gravity kicked in. So now I have to jump over something maybe? Uh, yes, where is... Yeah, because like you can't tell where it is otherwise. Okay, now I'm in it. Okay, core room, bridge, arboretum, yay! And I keep forgetting about the logic, so... Whoops. Hangar observation. Um, alright. Why, why can I not go up? Oh, there we go. You just gotta walk further forward, I guess. Okay, now I'm on the ceiling. I think. Ooh, there we go, okay. Yeah, I would just say, even if you just did, like, a, uh, a light or something in the floor, then uh, that would help you to see where the gravity will actually take place. I like this though. Very nice. Uh, it would be cool to have a just one logic block up here just to control the doors. Or, well I guess two would be cool too. 
Like you could do one on each side and then you could do one in the middle to control both of them. That way you could just open it from up here so it serves as an observation and a uh, hangar control as well. Alright, so let's head back down. Yay! Alright, to the Arboretum? No, not yet. Okay. Oh, here we Yeah, nice! <laughs> See, even something like that. I love how you do like little bouncy pads. Uh, so that's just a dead end? Hmm, might want to... I don't know, I'd say you could either close it off a little bit earlier or like add something just little right there. Just so it isn't like a short amount of hallway and then it dead end. Alright, nice. Okay, so that's the Arboretum. That's the core room. Let's go to the Arboretum first. And that, wait. Oh, oh, right, right, because the core room is separate from the bridge. Uh, no, we should go ahead and go. Nice. Ooh, very lush. It, it feels humid, <laughs> and it's a block game. I walk in, and I feel like I walked into a greenhouse. Good grief. Uh, my only qualm with this is you have a rather random assortment of blocks in the walls. Like you have sand next to leaves and wood and then dirt as well. Like I wouldn't mind seeing at least some consistency as far as like stone and then... Oh hey look, water. Yay, splash. Um, like stone and then wood and then leaves and you know just so it's not randomly scattered about. I mean I, I think I kind of get where you were going with it. So it's almost like every surface is some sort of um, plant or just dirt, but I, I don't know. That's I guess that's something you can experiment with as well, but it definitely gets the uh, overgrown feeling. That's for sure. What does this do? Lights. Yeah. Ooh. A romantic location. Ah. You, you, you know this bugs me, Raven. <laughs> I know. I know. I've told you this before, and you know it bugs me. You put windows where they're like one block too high. Or in this case, well, no, I guess it's just one block too high. And so then it's like, oh, I can't really see because, you know, I'm, yeah, I mean, it's cool to look up, but I would also like to be able to see straight back. But uh, that's that's something I've made note to him before. So that isn't a new issue. I do like what you did with the lights, though. That's really cool. Yeah, really, really nice. Very lush. It's, especially for as small of a space as it is. Like you got a little water feature back there, and still got some nice terrain shapes and stuff. So, okay, let's go ahead and head up to the bridge now, and then we'll head to the core room after that. Alright, so, except the bridge is up here, right? Okay, that's what this is for. Whee! Okay, so then I'm gonna walk up to this. Which I guess doesn't have logic. Ooh, that's a nice, nice color gradient right there. Well, color combination, really. Ah, the antenna is very nice. All right, so here we go into the bridge. One big old chair. Very nice. Yes, I will sit here. Nice captain. Captain Saber. Or maybe I'm supposed to sit there, I don't know. But I like this spot better, because I can actually see out. Yes! Very nice. I like it, but it definitely seems like it's a crew of just one. Ooh, lights. Yeah, turn off all lights. Darkness. Yeah, because like you do have a, a fair amount of room back here, but the only problem is like you can't really do much with it. Like You might be able to make, I don't know, something facing the sides. I don't know. Like if you thin it all down, you might be able to fit another two spots in here, kind of like I did, kind of like I did with the Spartan, but I'm not sure really. Uh, but it, I mean, it's a great view though. Don't get me wrong. I just feel like it's you could add some more to the bridge. Okay, let's head down to the core room and fly this thing around. Now, as far as I know, this has no weapons, which is totally fine because that would just take more time to test. And, oh, that's a tiny core room. Uh, yeah, he did say that it had something, though, to help you get away, so... Oh, there is some kind of a damage beam. Oh, 
Okay, so we've got a yeah damage beam uh, with a cannon and whatever that is. Oh, damage with a pulse and an EMP. So that's going to be what power drain, I think. And a jump drive, which is probably going to be a super fast jump drive. Why? There we go. Getting ahead of myself here. All right, let's go ahead and check out the cameras. Of which there are three, four. Ooh, I like that one. Four, I think. Might want to throw that one either farther forward or further down, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom out here. Love the way this thing looks from the back. Pretty freaking sweet, man. Okay, so it turns pretty nicely. And thrust is not bad. Still getting used to the new GUI, so don't mind me. 100 meters a second. Whee! Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and see how fast this charges up. So not, it, it's a pretty quick thing, I guess. It's not super fast, but it's it's decently quick. Okay, and charged, okay. And you know what, I, okay, we'll test this out on the station for the damage beam. Because obviously we don't need to see how the scanner works, because we all know how scanners work. Or at least currently. <laughs> Unless there was some crazy change I don't know about. Ooh, man, that beam drains power like no other. Whew. Also has a pretty long reload time, so... Okay, I'm not totally sure what kind of a beam it is. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a power drain or what. Let's see... All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut to when this is ready again, and then we'll test you on the station. Okay, and we're ready again, so let's go ahead and give this thing a fire. All right, ready? Here we go. So yeah, that is indeed a power drain, because see, it dropped down briefly, but the power regen on the station is apparently pretty good. Uh, also drained my power quite a bit, but that is okay. So, okay, that will do it for this one. It's probably already been too long. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and try and get the other two into this episode. Hopefully I wanted to break it up. But thank you guys for joining me, and be sure to check out Raven's channel. I will link that down below, because this is a, another, unsurprisingly, superb build from him. So go ahead and check his stuff out, because he builds a lot of great stuff. So I will link it to that down in the description down below. And I'm going to go ahead and jump on to the next ship.